Hey guys, I've got sky elements down here by the front gate. I'm gonna be bringing them down to the triangle. Copy that. Greg and I'll meet y'all over there. Tyler Johnson, Preston Ward, and their team from a drone-based light show company named Sky Elements came back out to the ranch. Now here's Travis and Brian. Their equipment was perfect to help us with another major experiment we designed to collect more data where we've experienced a number of stunning phenomena between the Triangle and the Eastfield Canyon. Tonight, the Sky Elements team will launch two drone swarms equipped with specialized GPS tracking above the Triangle and the East Field in pre-programmed cylindrical formations. Then, we plan to launch rockets directly up through the center of each swarm to see if the rockets or the drones themselves make contact with anything strange in the air. Tonight, we're using more tools than ever to figure out this place's secret. So hopefully, the effort will pay off with some incredible revelations. Well, I'm really excited. The thought of putting that spiral uh, drone configuration up in the air at the same time at two locations that seem to, for whatever reason, be connected, who knows what we're going to see when that takes place. Yeah. OK, all right, let's go. Break. Right. I have all the drones connected. I have their flight paths on them. I also was able to set the time. So now we have a manual start time. Perfect. Well, I've got the standard kit going. I've got my gamma ray detector running. I've got the spectrum analyzers going. And we've got the FLIR. I got it set up on top of the Jeep. We're, we're looking almost due north, a little bit east. So we're looking at the place on the Mesa here where we saw that UAP come in and go into the yep. Mesa yep. and you know fly out down by the triangle. So I was hoping if something flies into the, into the Mesa while we're doing this, we'll catch it on the FLIR. Perfect. OK, we're going hot here. 10 seconds, lights coming 10 on. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Our rocket is hot. Rocket is hot. Three, two, one. Here we go. Solid grid forming. We are ready to go on this end. When these drones got 30 feet off the ground, they just started to drop out of the sky. We got them coming right down on top of the tent. For these brief moments, everything is complete chaos. It's raining drones over here. Raining drones. Raining drones, is that what he said? They're raining drones over there. Raining drones in the, at the triangle. We're raining drones here, too. We're raining drones here, too. We've had strange equipment failures on Skinwalker Ranch before, but it was insane that so many of the drones were dropping out of the sky just after both swarms launched at the Triangle and the East Field. Cylinder forming. Two more drop. Several seconds later, our swarm in the East Field finally started to move into its cylinder formation, but then more drones continued to fall every couple of seconds. Oh, holy mackerel. We have a massive amount being lost. Oh, my god. We just had catastrophic failure. They're going to have to oh. Holy crap. It looks like we're having major problems. No. Here, let me get one word. We have one drone that literally comes down and starts to come inside the tent towards us. So I took my coat off. And as this drone was coming down, I, I had to swat it to the ground to keep it from hitting us. Stay under the tent. Stay under the tent. Holy crap. They're just coming out. They're falling. There's a, look at that one. Look at that, one. that one just fell right out, Scott. Oh, my god. Oh, it hit a hard, too. Heads up. Heads up. I Did don't want to be underneath this. Was the massive cone causing all this or something else that we couldn't see? There was no way to tell in the moment. So I wanted to start launching rockets to see if it would reveal whatever was affecting the drones. Dude, it could clobber us, dude. Just keep a watch. Just keep a watch. I'll watch you launch. If I say run, we're running to the west, OK? We're about to launch. 
Dude, get I, don't, ready, get I ready. don't know if this is going to be a good get idea. Ready. Do not let me get clobbered. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Unless you want to see shoot up the side, we're not going to catch the middle. We'll go up the side. Even though the cylinder had moved away from its position directly above the launch tower, we still wanted to get a rocket up into the air close to the drone swarm to see what would happen. Oh, uh, it's coming down. Something's wrong. It's coming down. I don't see a chute yet. Looked like it was in two pieces, though. What the hell happened there? I don't know. We just rebuilt that rocket. It broke apart. How? Because the chute came out. There's another piece somewhere. I have no idea what caused the rocket to break up in the air. It sure didn't appear to hit anything. So did it collide with something that just wasn't visible? Yeah. Oh, my hell, what just happened? Oh, man. What happened? Look. There's a nose cone with a chute attached to it somewhere. Yeah, look. It just blew, it broke through the line. They're coming down. Now that all the drones are on the ground, we finally have time to come out of the tent and start examining. And I have to say, it looked like a battlefield out on the triangle. Look at that. Pulverized. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What a night. <laughs> Quite a night, huh? So there was a really odd phenomena taking place today. Man, we got a bunch of data. We got to wrap up. I say we pack it up and get out of here. I'm Let's do it. 100% ready. Let's get out. All right. Great work, guys. Thank you all. Thank you. Hey, guys. Come on in. Have a seat. I've got uh, Preston and Caleb from Sky Elements. Oh, wow. All oh, right. Good. Queued up on a, for a video call. You know, I, I've been thinking about this day a lot, and we, we've got a ton of stuff to share with you guys. We've learned a lot. So we uh, took the, the logs, and we were able to plot where the drones thought they ended up. So this is from the triangle. Um, you're going to see them lift off here in a second. And ultimately, what happened is the, the GPSs were, were spoofed, right? So they lift up, and then immediately, they thought they were over here. So what? this is the, the location where they thought they were. Oh my gosh. That's the end, that's, that's the, the end, end point. point. That is the end point. So the drone's GPS show, they basically teleported over to the Eastfield Mesa when they got 30 something feet. Correct, correct. They instantly thought they were over here. Instantly. The ranch is 512 acres. If it's gonna be random, it could have put them anywhere. Why did it put it there? I'm going to show you something that gives us a chance to get an additional perspective on what we just watched. This is the camera perspective from the triangle, looking back over the drone swarm on the ground. And here we have the cylinder yeah. in the air. I see, OK. The rocket goes, the rocket vanished, and it comes back. That's really weird. OK, back up down through that, Eric. All right, I'm going to take us backwards. Gone. Comes it, back. It vanished behind something. Yeah. There's something there. <laughs> what the hell? Play it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what is that? Is that a drone? That's got to be the FPV right there. Yeah, that's got to be Caleb's FPV drone flying right there. Watch, watch, watch the drone. Gone. Comes it, back. it vanished behind something. Yeah, I want to look at that again. I want to see what's happening here. Look where it's gone, right, right the over the launch tower. tower. Right it is the right tower. over the launch tower. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, 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 right there. That was yeah. real time? Yeah. Where it went like this? Yes, what did we just see? Just when you think it can't get stranger out here, right as our rocket and the FPV drone disappeared for a split second, a UAP, or some kind of light, jumped out of the mesa and then immediately back in. Right at the out point where the UAP exited the mesa and flew toward the triangle in 2022. 
given the possible connectivities between different regions of the ranch, you know, we really need to put something together that spans as much of the ranch as possible. Yeah. Well, that means we've got a lot of work to do in the meantime. So I say we get to it. Let's do it.